So how about you? you? Guys, fired up. Good, good, good day. Uh, practice 16, I believe. But you got my count right. I don't know how many days we've been at camp. Seems like a, it seems like forever. But uh, you know, we had a nice scrimmage Saturday. Uh, you know, most importantly, we stayed healthy. Um, you know, nobody, um, nobody too, too banged up. 136 play scrimmage. Uh, so we got after it. Was really happy with the way our offense ran the football, uh, which obviously was not the case at the, the scrimmage before. So I really felt like they put some strings together. Uh, Todd Sibley ran the ball well. Vince Davis, um, you know, puppy showed that uh, he's going to be able to play for us this year. Um, you know, is that going to be fourth game, third game? I don't know when, but he did some nice things as a as a, uh, a running back. And um, you know, overall, you know, was happy with where we came out of. Will Vince Davis be more of a third down guy, or? You know, we're still, you know, TBA. I mean, when you look at depth charts, and you know, we still got two weeks to go before game time, so we'll find out where that is. But, you know, and again, not just in reference to, to Vince, but, you know, in reference to everybody. I mean, you know, the depth charts have not been set. They're still, you know, they're still fighting every day. I mean, um, you know, I think you got a pretty good idea after, you know, the, the second jersey scrimmage, which is the most important scrimmage that we have out here. Um, but, you know, you still got to go out and be able to adapt to a game plan, too. It's, his, his name has come up a couple times, it seems like, uh, after the scrimmages and, and throughout the practices. What, what's he done that's really stood out? You know what, uh, you know, obviously he knows what he's doing, first of all, so, I mean, uh, but he's just not done a nice job of hitting the holes and, and twisting and spinning and, you know, he's just been good. So uh, we'll continue to see how, you know, game ready he's going to be and, you know, obviously he's a few weeks away as well. Um, you know, I don't see him playing any opener yet, but uh, yeah, we'll see. How did Sal Levine look after you know, all this time? He was live a bit last week, but yeah. in this room. You know, uh, you know, Michael's still rusty right now. I mean, again, you know, t to his defense, it's, you know, he's been out for a year. All these other guys have been running around and he's been out, um, you know, didn't particularly hit the holes like you'd like him to, but that's kind of expected. He's been out for a year and it takes time. Uh, things happen fast back there and probably a lot on his mind. So uh, I'm happy with where he is right now, um, you know, me personally, and uh, we'll kind of see from there. Did you get some separation in your linebacker group on Saturday? Um, you know, we got separation really in, in, in everything. Again, you know, I feel like there's some guys that can play at that position. Um, you know, probably if you had to say there was a banged up group right now, it's probably that group. Um, maybe it's because of all the running that we're doing uh, as far as, you know, the run game. Um, but, uh, you know, Elias Reynolds has had a good camp. You know, Kylan Johnson has really had a good camp. Um, and, um, you know, the camp right's been solid. So there's, you know, there's, you know, I guess some separation, but still, still, a lot of work to do. What did you see from the D line? And I know Desen Alexander was solid from the first scrimmage who you really commended a right. lot. Yeah, Pat Jones continues to, to progress. Desen Alexander had, you know, he had, um, Desen, Desen played well. Uh, and then Jalen Swyman has been outstanding as well. And again, uh, I think I've said this several times, you know, the rest of that D line inside the tackle spots uh, have been uh, very solid. And, and I, I mentioned another guy, just a guy that just keeps. You know, day by day, progressing is, is Hava Baldonado. Uh, he, he progresses and to the point where you know he's going to be a factor this season. You guys decided on number two quarterback? You know, not really. I mean, we, we're still. You know, I think Nick Patty and, and Jeff George are doing a fine job, and, and they're both battling. You know, we'll we'll see. You know, I think we get closer day by day, but we'll just kind of hold that. Is Baldonado probably on probably in the top four? This point, At this point today, but you know how fast that thing can change. I mean, you can go from top four to top six in, in, a, in, a, in a period. So um, he's just got to continue to progress. But yeah, Hoppus proved that he could be in that top four. Is your uh, first year nutritionist done anything different this year? Yeah, we're getting more desserts, today, Jerry. I don't get it. Oh, yeah. you know, everybody's got a little different. different What's your uh, favorite? No, I'm trying to stay away from those. But you know, I still go with the chocolate chip cookie when they're available. The last couple of nights in some of these. You know, we had a great fan, you know, the fan day yesterday, and and then our little snack there. They had a cookie, chocolate chip cookie. I didn't eat the rest of it, but I for sure had that chocolate chip cookie.